What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Galaxy S23 Ultra Purple and also a setup. I'm going to show you how I set it up, transferring my data from a Galaxy Z Fold 4 to this phone. So it's going to be, if you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, it's going to be the same process for basically almost every phone. It's going to be the same process. You're going to want that Samsung app that transfers your data from one phone to the other. If you hear any drilling or anything, it's because I have some stuff going on in my garage, but I still got to get this video done. So don't be alarmed. So first of all, the free gifts that I got, got their 25 watt super fast wall charger, which don't need or want, but I got it because I just, same thing with the silicon case. Um, I'll open this real quick so we can take a look. Probably won't, probably won't even use this. I'll probably just keep it as a backup case for myself in case I need a, a, a case of some sort. Um, but a bunch of companies send me cases, so I'll probably use one of those. But here it is. Kind of a bendy case, a little bit of support in there. But it uh, almost looks, I guess it looks blue more than purple. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you consider blue or purple. And then I also have the super fast wireless charger duo. So you can charge uh, your watch, your buds, your phone, your buds, whatever you want on there. So I got that for free as well. And then, like I said, I got the purple Galaxy S23 Ultra. And depending upon how you look at this, it does kind of look purple, looks like pink, looks beige. It depends on the color. Um, through the camera, as I see it right now, it does look a little bit more beige or silver almost. But in person, I can see the hints of the purple or the, uh, the, the pink in there. Um, it's a gorgeous phone. Very, very beautiful phone. I think it's really pretty. Um, so let's get this bad boy set up. I'm gonna turn it on. I had it on before, but I didn't set it up. Inside the box, you don't get any, um, you know, charging brick or anything like that. But you do get a USB-C to USB-C cable, as well as your little thing in here that allows you to eject your SIM card somewhere in there. I'll find it later. Not a huge deal. So it's asking me to hit start. And then next, it's asking me for what I want to agree to. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to agree to almost any of this. I agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. Only the stuff I absolutely have to, which I think is only that, that, and then these are optional. So I'm not going to, I, I, I'm not going to agree to the diagnostic data. So I'm going to hit agree. Set up using another device, Galaxy or Android phone. That's what I'm coming from. Scan the QR code. So let me scan that QR code with my Galaxy phone, which I open my camera up. So close. Oops, where you go? There you go. It says set up Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm going to hit set up. It's now connecting. All right, it's telling me to scan the code again. All right, connecting. Put my fingerprint, continue on your new device. So I'm gonna bring over my new device. I'm gonna to connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, it's done with the Wi-Fi part. I hit next, and now it's saying getting your phone ready. All right, so I am connected to Wi-Fi. Push me back here, I'm gonna hit next again. It says getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. It went back through that getting account info. All right, that was actually really good. It automatically, without me having to enter any passwords or anything, it copied my information, my, my, my Gmail accounts and all those accounts over to the new phone. That was excellent. Um, select your provider. It's asking me to do eSIM, which I'm not completely against on here because it is potentially a little bit easier to hop between different phones. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, but these are none of my carriers for this phone. So I'm going to other ways to connect. I guess I will, I guess I'll skip on this for now. Skip adding SIM. Yeah, I'll skip it. I'll go back to this. I'll add the SIM card in there manually. Copy uh, apps and data. Next. Now we're going to hit allow. Wireless. All right, it's asking me to get connected. All right, so it's telling me to get Smart Switch on my other device. So I am going to open up Smart Switch on this older old device here. All right, so I have Smart Switch. I'm gonna hit allow, allow, and I'm gonna be sending data. Hit okay, wireless. All right, allow the connection. I had to do that a couple times. It is now searching for the data to transfer. All right, I do not want to transfer everything, so I'm going to go to custom and then hit next. And I want to 
transfer the following. I want to do, I'll do calls and contacts, messages, I'll skip out on that. Apps, yes. Yeah, I don't need Galaxy Row. Settings, yes. Home screen, yes. Images, no. Videos, no. Audio, documents, and files. I'm going to hit transfer at that point. Back up your messaging app data. I'll just hit next. Transferring data from your old phone. Okay, so it's transferring the data. Now it's asking me about my Google stuff. So I am going to turn off diagnostic, diagnostic data and hit accept. Um, I'm going to set up my fingerprint. Continue. I do like to set, you can, now at this point you have to set up a pin, a password or a pattern. I like a pattern, so I'm gonna set up a pattern. Okay, the pattern is all set up. It's asking me to register my fingerprint, so I'm gonna do that. Man, that's pretty good. I mean, I just did it recently on a S22 Ultra, so it's nice, uh, this is pretty, pretty quick in terms of having to do that. So it's checking now. I already have the, if you want to use the, I'm not going to say the word, but you know, that right there, it allows you to. So I've already set it up. So I'm just going to hit agree and allow and stuff. Getting my phone ready. Now it's showing Samsung services. And if you want to use any of these, I'll just keep agree to all those, but you can uncheck them if you want. I'm going to hit finish. And this should continue. There you go. It's already getting everything pretty much set up for my home screens. You can see they're all grayed out, but they're going to be able to be used momentarily after all of these apps are done downloading. You can see I can still set up my eSIM. It's transferring the data. So once that's all done, uh, this will take a while. All right, so the data transfer is complete. You can see it transferred over 287 things, apps anyway. I had to actually go back into this, same thing I was doing before with that Samsung Switch, Smart Switch app, and I had to do just the apps because for some reason, it didn't do the app, so again, I had to go back in there, so that's why it says 287. It did everything else, though. It says not copied, two apps, Samsung Pass, Expert Raw app. I can get those from the um, the Galaxy Store. Hit next, all set, I'm gonna hit done. And I can, I'm gonna mess with these home screens just a little bit. They're not completely set up the way that I wanted to. They're pretty close, though. Just have to move a couple things over and rearrange these rows but all my apps are downloaded. Two things though you wanna do are, you wanna go into the Play Store. So find your Play Store and load that up. Once you have your Play Store open, hit your profile photo on the top right. Go into Manage Apps and Devices. Update all. Even though you just downloaded your apps, go in there and update them all. Um, you're gonna have a lot of updates that need to be updated because basically it's kind of transferring over the apps and downloading them, but it doesn't always download the most recent apps. So you wanna go in there and do that. Make sure you do that. It will do it eventually, but just to be proactive, go in there and do that. The other one you wanna do is swipe up, go into your Galaxy Store because there's gonna be apps in there as well that need updates. So go into Galaxy Store, hit continue, hit the menu, uh, hit update actually first. So you can update the Galaxy Store itself. It closed it out, but you, you can go right back into it at this point. It should be all, it's the, what's this? Uh, improve your ads experience. I'm gonna hit reject and, con and configure, allow all. Okay, menu, updates. That's where you wanna go. You're gonna have tons of these, so hit update all. And just let it sit there. It's, it's a process, obviously, with all of this stuff. Um, but, you know, while it's doing that, that's pretty much you're done at that point. You can start you know, going into your apps and, and using them. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is just log into all your apps if you're not already logged into. Otherwise, you should be good at that point to use your phone after the updates are done. Thanks for watching. I'll have many, many more videos on the S23 Ultra. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.